Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So, today we are going to Sydney and I'm so excited. Um, so my flight's in an hour and a half, I believe. So we're going to be leaving the house very soon. I packed everything. I'm pretty sure I have everything. But knowing me, I probably have forgotten something. Hopefully it's just a minor thing. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to go to Sydney. I'm going to attend two meetings. I'm going to see if I can obviously vlog while I'm there. Um, and then I'm also going to have dinner with my best friend, Sunita. So yeah, today I'm flying with Tiger and I really hope they don't cancel my flight or move me to another flight. <sighs> I think everything's going to go well. Hey guys, so I'm now at the airport and I just got myself some hash browns. I'm starving. I did have breakfast. I had one of those um, wheat fix um, biscuits, those breakfast ones, but clearly that was enough. I think I might be a bit stressed, so my stomach is not happy with me. Mm. So my flight isn't until, oh, well, so it's here, for another 43 minutes. Um, I also got a um, electronic boarding pass so I just need to show it when I get to the gate so that's that's easy less paperwork because I always used to be so I remember back in the day I used to be so scared that I'd lose my boarding pass or like my documents but now at least it's all on my phone and that's the real most people hold their phones in their hands pretty much all the time I'm definitely one of those people also there's a lot of people like staring at me Normally I get a lot of stares because I'm wearing makeup, but I think today because I've also got this blue hair, it's making it even more apparent that I'm different. And I remember that, I remember back in the day that used to make me feel very awkward. I'm pretty sure there's some people like watching me talk to a camera right now, but eh. Also the lighting in here is not ideal, it's not doing any favours for me. Ugh. Anyway. So good. Hey guys, I'm now here in Sydney. I'm actually at the train station. Um, so I'm just in the underground bit and I'm going to catch my train to the city. So that's like the little board that shows you all the information. So I'm going to probably get off at Museum. Um, I could get off at Museum or Central, but based on where the location, based on where the hotel is, I think I might get off at Museum and then head over to Pitt Street Mall and then have some lunch because check-ins not until 2 and I think I'll get there around 1, 1.30. Um, I also bumped into Tony, which is my makeup desk on Instagram. Um, I bumped into her at the airport. We're actually on the same flight, um, but we were seated like on the opposite sides of the plane. So we just caught up here in Sydney and um, I think she's waiting for Amir and Nadia because um, they're going to Mechelen tonight. Um, so yeah, I need to top up my Opal card and then we'll hop on a train. Okay, let's do this. Also pretty convenient because it says platform one. I don't, oh, you guys can see it. But it says platform one, central station, Sydney city, and circular key. Ooh. Okay, finally that's done. I have a message to Anita because we're having dinner and I just need to confirm my meetings that they're all going okay. Um, also I've got so many stairs. One has got a camera, two got blue hair, three have got a blue hair. And a lot of people have been complimenting me on that. I literally spent like two minutes at the station trying to get a photo with my pixel um, because the museum sign is it's so pretty, it just reminds me of like um, the English tube. Um, it just reminds me of the London tube signs. Um, so I really wanted to take a photo of that. I got one, um, but I really wanted to take another one, but the trains just keep coming past. And honestly, I am so hungry. Um, so I'm getting off at the Liverpool Street exit. Um, I'm not sure if this is the right one, but this is the one I got off at last time when my partner and I were here in Sydney. Um, we stayed in a hotel pretty much near Oxford Street. So this was, this is the only station I'm really familiar with. This and Circular Quay and Central.
I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's the photo I took. The screen's a bit dark. The screen's a bit dark, but you get the idea. I'm just gonna take photos of like nice buildings here while I'm out and about. I just had a look at the time. Um, I've only got like half an hour before check-in anyway. So I'm just trying to find something close by that has sushi. Then I'll probably just try and eat it at the hotel. Okay, change of plans. We're going to go to this building over here. I think it's called World Square. Um, I think so. I think it is called World Square. Um, it's got um, a few, it's got a food court down there, and it's also got a Woolworth, I believe, or Coles. I need to go there because I didn't bring a toothbrush. I always never bring a toothbrush. Oh, sweet Priceline. Okay, I'm gonna go to Priceline first. Get my eye drops. Um, oh, if they have toothpaste and a toothbrush at a reasonable price, I might as well get it from there. Alright guys, I've made it to the hotel, so I think it's pronounced very U, because the U is underlined, but I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks so Instagram worthy in here. Okay, so I'm going to check in, because I'm running late for my meeting, my first one. Oh, very pretty in here. This place is so cute. Okay, so I'm in 114. Um, which is this one. It's very dark. Oh, oh my gosh, this place is so cute. Damn, girl, this place is cute. I mean, it is tiny. Like, this is the door. It is tiny, but it's okay. I think that's a double bed. Or might be even a queen. Actually, that might be a king. That's not bad. Like, literally, this is perfect for what I need. Um, and this is the view. I don't think you can... Oh, I think you can open it. Because there's that little thing there, but I won't do that. But that's the view. Um, so, Central Station is pretty much... Ooh, can you see it? So, Central Station is there. I think you can just barely make out the clock tower. Also love the natural sunlight. Okay, so I am going to um, quickly eat my sushi rolls and then I'm going to touch up my makeup. I think my makeup looks pretty good actually at this point. I actually like my makeup when it's a little bit worn in and because, yeah, the oils and everything, I don't look as matte, I don't look as pory. Is that, is that even a word? But look, yeah. Sometimes when, I've, if I, sometimes when I've just freshly put my makeup on, I look like I've got heaps of pores, but it's actually looking good. Um, and I also need to put some eye drops because my eyes are starting to feel a bit dry from the plane. Um, but yeah, this place is really cute. I'll give you guys a really quick tour around. I mean, you've already, you can already see the entirety of the room, but I'll show you guys a little bathroom because it's actually quite cute. Okay, so again, that's the door. Let's turn this on. Oops, wrong light. Um, but yeah, there's a, oh, hello. There is a full length mirror and this is pretty much the outfit of the day. Um, just pretty plain and simple because I'm not really doing anything, just meetings and catching up with friends. Um, this um, jumper is from ASOS from years ago. You guys know I've, I've worn this in so many of my photos, my videos. Um, and just I think these are ASOS as well. Oh no, American Apparel. And then some Puma shoes. Anyway. Coffee machine, oh perfect. So later I think I'm just gonna get something for breakfast tomorrow because I don't really wanna go um, out, out. Um, this little bar fridge. And this is a toilet. It's quite cute, quite cute, she cute. Uh, and by the way, the lashes I'm wearing are the I Law I Heart This, so I love this. They're so cute, I love them. Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop talking because I need to get my ass out of here. Guys, I'm on my way. I'm walking to Kuti Kut Connects. Sorry, um, I'll ask them how to pronounce their brand later. Um, but it's C O O T E Connects. Um, so they represent. So yeah, um, they basically do PR for Revlon, um, the makeup here in Australia. Uh, so just going to have a chat with them, catch up, have a coffee. Um, this area is quite familiar to me because um, I used to go work or volunteer for like um, it's basically an LGBTIQ plus um, health and mental health social space. Oh, I keep forgetting the name. 
oh, this is going to bug me now. I did some work for them, but their office is up here. Um, it's well, pretty much close to um, Oxford Street, um, so which is basically the gay street here in Sydney. Um, so yeah, I'm out of breath. I'll talk to you guys once I'm there. Hey guys, so I've just finished at, um, my meeting with Coot Connects. So yeah, they basically showed me um, all the brands that they have, um, all the brands that they work with, I should say, sorry, and um, all the new products. So that was really interesting to see um, and know more about each individual brand. Um, so I've got a couple of goodies as you guys can probably see. Um, yeah, <laughs> I have to ask for like a bag with a strap because it's literally so much. And I like the fact that it's all recyclable, like the bag that they gave me. Anyway, um, I'm on my way to my second meeting. Um, I'm going to get there pretty much on time, I think, um, just depending on traffic, but I think I should get there on time. Um, so, yeah, hopefully everything works out. And then I'm going to have dinner with my best friend, Sunita, at around 6, so that's going to be fun. Um, we're going to have some fried chicken. I'm so, so looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, um, let's make our way to the second. Hey guys, we're now here at the local <laughs> office and I'm so, so happy to be here. Thank you to the team. We've got Lena, Alex and Joel here. <laughs> so Joel's just showing us around through the Google offices. So, so exciting. Alright, so I'll, sh I'll shut up and I'll show you guys what I can show you. <laughs> Oh wow. Play around with all kinds of arts and crafts. Wow. It's like a sewing machine. It's a really good place for yeah, It's a really good place to let your creativity out. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait until you turn around. <laughs> <laughs> it's a subway. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Talk about making your workplace fun. It looks like you're in a subway. <laughs> this is the games room. Oh my god. I love it. Ooh, hello. <laughs> this place looks so much fun to work at, guys. Preference of colour? Pink. <laughs> Thank you. Find a little spot. You can't see my name, but that's Mr. Ken Dennis. Hi <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, this is the view. Yeah. Hi guys, I've just finished with Google. Thank you so much to Joel and Lena for having me over. Honestly, this is such a big thing for me because I've been on YouTube for, well, since 2011. So just to be able to go into a Google office, that's amazing and get to see behind the scenes a bit. That's amazing. Anyway, I have just walked, um, before I get a little bit sappy, um, up the road from Google's office to this place called Whirly Bird. Um, that's that place. Um, this is where Sunita and I are going to have dinner. Um, she booked a table. I'm a bit early, so I'm just going to wait out here. Um, and also because I'm a bit sweaty, because it's actually warmer than I thought. Um, I thought it was going to be quite cold here in Sydney, but it's Sydney. It's always a little bit warmer than Melbourne. Um, but yeah, exterior looks cool. And also, also I forgot to bring my portable battery. I left it at the hotel. My phone is like at 16%, so hopefully it lasts. And I also have a little... Well, not a little. I've got a present from Google as well, and I'm so, so happy and so excited. Uh, I'll show you guys what it is once we're back at the hotel, um, but for now, I'm just going to wait for Sunita, and then we're going to catch up. Hey guys, we're inside the restaurant now. Sunita! 
guys. We're gonna catch up. We're gonna have some food. Fried chicken, guys. Fried chicken. <laughs> Fried chicken, yes. All right, guys. So we have ordered two lots of hot wings. I think they're both like hot wings. Um, one's called soul wings. One's called buffalo wings. We also got some chips. We are so hungry, and we're all about that fried food life, guys. Fried food. These are the buffalo wings, that's the sole, and these are chips. And we've got a candlelight dinner. Yum! Hey guys, so I am back at the hotel. Now, I have to say, I think I might have pressed the wrong button um, um, with the white balance on the camera, so uh, uh, forgive me, some of the clips are a little bit red. I'll try and color correct it as much as I can. But yeah, I'm back here and I am so tired. I can't wait to rip these lashes off. I've just kept them on because I'm filming still. Um, and then take my makeup off and then have a shower and then kind of like chill. And um, I'll show you guys the stuff that I got today um, from my meeting. And I'll also um, show you guys the new Pixel. I'm so ecstatic. Thank you so much to the team for giving me the phone. I'm just... I wanted a Pixel XL for the longest time, and I, I, you know, I have a Pixel too. Um, but there's something about having a bigger phone that I just really like, and it's the Pixel 3 XL. So I'm like, yes, girl, thank you. So I walked Sunita to the train station so she can get back home, and I stopped by 7 Eleven, and I also got um, some breakfast biscuits. I've got these ones from Belvita. Um, I was gonna get like cup noodles um, because that's like the most convenient thing, and that's kind of like what I go for for like. Um, holiday mode which is what I'm kind of having at the moment um, but I thought I want to go something healthier because I've been eating crap pretty much for the last few weeks and I really want to be a little bit healthier a bit more conscious in terms of like what I eat I mean I don't think they're like this the healthiest option but you know it's healthier than cup noodles okay guys I do not recommend that you guys do this but I really have been wanting to take this off all day like I, I think the last two hours the inner corner started to peel off on its own um so that was really annoying me <sighs> that feels so much better and i feel like my eyes are a little bit bloodshot from wearing these contacts and just from the plane and stuff so i think it's time for eye drops again um earlier i stopped by priceline i don't know if i mentioned it but i got um these eye drops these are my favorite for what I wear color contact lenses especially Solotica because they do kind of like dry my eyes out after a few hours so that was nice um my ear is so white uh, <laughs> yeah okay I'm gonna go take this all off have a shower and then just kind of like sweat things out and then I'll show you guys what I got had a shower and I also put on a face mask I also put on these um, eye masks but uh, it was supposed to be a pair when I opened the packet it only had one so I was like so confused so anyway I just um, drained out the serum from that popped it underneath the eyes then put on the other face mask that was so strange so this is the contents of the bag and I am so so spoiled I'm so thankful and um, thank you so much Selena and the team for this and also Google like seriously so spoiled um, so this is a card just saying hello welcome to team pixel again um, and then we have these little cards if you guys aren't familiar with Google um, basically they give you like these little colored cards and um, well pixel and specifically um, that give you um, tips and tricks on how to use your phone better um, so it just says team pixel and then you turn it over and then there's um, some instructions on how to make um, most of the features of the phone so this is the Google Pixel 3 XL. So this is the one, this is the not pink, I believe it's actually called. Yeah, is it called not pink? Yeah, not pink model. Um, and then I also have a um, 3 XL case to go with that. And then they surprised me with the Google Pixel stand as well. Thank you so, so much. So um, I have just posted on Instagram stories on my old Pixel. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? Ugh, I feel like a tech vlogger now. <laughs> Ah, oh, so pretty. Ah. Okay, that that was a fail. Ah, oh, so pretty. Okay, I don't have a screen protector yet, so I am a bit nervous taking that out of that 
um, so I might do that in a second. Um, I have time tomorrow before I go to Mechelen to probably go find a store um, to get a screen protector for this um, because I don't trust myself. Um, I just want to make sure that it's all protected and I'm pretty close to Pitt Street Mall so should be able to find one. Um, we've got these headphones as well guys are new to the Pixel. Um, they don't have a headphone jack, they basically just use the USB-C and we have um, the USB-C um, to audio jack um, so if you guys prefer to use your old headphones you can use that and um, this one is to connect to um, a USB to USB-C so if you want to transfer your data which I'll probably do with my other phone in a second and this is the actual um, USB-C cable and then this is the power brick so I think this is the same exact same setup from the Pixel 2 so should be quite easy um, I'll open the stand once I get back to um, Melbourne because I don't really need to use it now. I'm so happy. Um, so basically the phone came wrapped in this, but I have just torn off the plastic just a bit. Like obviously it's not going to be the perfect screen protector, but it will do at least until tomorrow until I get to a store and put a screen protector because I'm so paranoid about that. As you guys can see, my phone is still setting up. Um, I got distracted. I was going to do like Instagram stories. <laughs> And yeah, it's pretty much 11, so yeah. Ah, so happy. Uh, but that, yeah, that will do for now until I get to a store tomorrow. And yeah, ugh, this case is so pretty too. I am just um, in the process of just setting up the rest of the Pixel 3. Um, I think that's gonna, I'm gonna end it at that. I'm really tired. My voice, I feel like it's really tired now just from talking all day. Um, so I'm just gonna go. Um, just chill in bed. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you guys did. Tell me down in the comment box down below if you guys have been to Sydney, what's your favourite spot? If not, where do you guys want to go to Sydney? Um, if you guys ever visited. Um, and yeah, and don't worry, I'll be vlogging um, tomorrow as well um, from Mechelen. I think I just wanted to split the vlog because I feel like there's so much happening already. And I don't want to bore you guys in just one vlog. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.